Punctuation in Poetry. That's what we're covering here today. And we'll also be handing out a promo code that you can use on your next purchase with Edu Birdie. So stick around till the end, because we've got some really awesome pointers to throw your way. So let's get started. If you've ever written a poem, then you probably know that there's a pretty large debate over how we should be using grammar and punctuation. Some writers violate grammar laws. They call it creativity. While others tend to run the more traditional route. Sticking consistently to the rules of universal writing guidelines. But here's the hard truth. Whether you're a rule breaker or not, you need to understand the basic rules of grammar. There are 10 typical mistakes made in poetry that are super easy to avoid. We'll quickly cover the top three points in this video, but remember, you can always check out the full list of grammar mistakes on our blog. And the link to that can be found right below this video. Mistake 1, commas. The most common grammar mistake in poetry occurs during the citation of someone's work. You have to be careful to cite the work as is. The way the poem was written makes an artistic style of its author. And they don't always follow the rules. So, if you see a sentence in a poem written like this, run with the wind, the water, and the ground. Don't rewrite the sentence like this. Run with the wind, comma, the water, comma, and the ground. Just cite the original work and leave out the commas. 2. Subject verbs. Let's cover a sentence about studying. He have been studying for seven hours. The use of the word have in this sentence is totally incorrect. Here's the correct way to write this sentence. He has been studying for seven hours. C. Swapping out the word have with has has certainly made a world of difference in that sentence. Right? 3. The introductory element. If you start your sentence with an introductory word, it should be followed by a comma. For example, let's analyze this sentence, before he even got the mail, he went straight to his study. This is a sentence that requires a comma after the word mail, because the word before is an introductory word. So, there you have it. The top three mistakes to avoid when writing poetry, commas, subject verbs, and introductory elements. Everyone should know how to punctuate a poem. It'll help you communicate your thoughts and ideas better and make your poem more readable. Well, that's it for today. Oh, we almost forgot. Here's that promo code we promised you at the beginning of this video. It's YouTube 10. That'll get you 10% off your next purchase on our website. Till next time, thanks for watching.